Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, it is uh, Friday, April 16th, uh, just a few days after the introduction of the uh, DJI Air 2S. Well, I don't have that. I've got it coming. I should have it by next week. But I do have uh, the DJI Mini 2, and I'm out on the Boise River, uh, just kind of... Uh, west of where I usually fly at, uh, kind of by a little town called Middleton, Idaho, kind of close to it. I'm at the end of a, a road where they have access to the river. It's called uh, Midland Road or Midland Boulevard. I can't remember which, but uh, in any case, uh, yeah, it was kind of a little bit of a hike to get to this spot where I'm at, but it's a perfect spot to launch the drone, and we're going to take it out over the river and look around. Uh, we still haven't got the trees, still aren't very green or anything yet. I mean, that, that will be uh, happening. You can see new sprouts out now, so that'll be happening soon. Uh, but uh, there were just some kids that ran by here a couple minutes ago, and they told me, they said, hey, there's cows out, so we might see some cattle out running around. And uh, anyway, we'll just look what we see uh, over the river. We're kind of close to a... Uh, where, a, where a, a sand and gravel company is. So, you know, you might hear some machinery working and so forth, and we'll take the little guy up and, and see what we can see. So let's quit messing around. <laughs> let's get this bird in the air. Hey, okay, the, uh, the drone is reporting uh, ready to take off, uh, but I want to talk about a couple things. You can see I'm at 94% battery. Now, the battery had been left in the drone, and I think this kind of confirms what uh, my friend Mike DiCurcio was talking about on a recent video, Philly Mike, uh, that if the battery is left in the drone or in the charge case, they, it will not uh, discharge to uh, the storage level. And I can tell you this, that I've had this uh, battery, I charged this battery up probably a week and a half ago or so, and it's still at 94% charge, so that tells me that's the case. So uh, a couple of things that we want to look at here is uh, we'll go through the uh, safety menu real quick, and that's the three dots up in the upper right. And we look in our return to home altitude is at 70 meters. I'm going to set that a little bit higher. There's a bunch of trees out there. Put it up to 85, and that's very high, and that's a safety level, but, you know, you just, uh, you just want to make sure. And uh, it's telling us that the compass is normal. It's telling us that the IMU is normal. Let's take a look at the, uh, at the battery real quick. So we're going to click on battery info. And both batteries, or both uh, cells, are at 4.2 volts. So we're in good shape there. Uh, so, uh, heck, I don't see any reason not just to take off. Okay, I am going to start recording, and I'm uh, usually I, I go in and look at the menu here, and and check and make sure that I'm in you know whatever uh, uh, recording level that I want to be. Uh, but if you just look out at the bottom, in the bottom right, uh, it says right there, 4K30. That's exactly where I want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and start recording right now. And we're recording, so uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. So there we are, uh, the little uh, Mini 2. It just uh, is sitting there like it's hanging from a string. There's not a lot of wind today, and uh, you know, I, I'll have to pull up UAV forecast, but uh, I'm going to guess the temperature is about in the 70s someplace. And there again, you see the drone kind of, uh, it does that when it first starts up, it kind of uh, uh, bucks a little bit, or, or I don't know exactly how to describe that. I don't know if you could see that on the video, but once it warms up for a minute, it stops. And I suspect that's the IMU. Uh, you know, you wait till you get some heat in that, in that IMU. But uh, anyway, let's bring it in here, and we're gonna, Wiggle it back and forth. I like you to be able to see that gimbal in action. Uh, and then let's see, I'm looking for a good direction here to, uh, to do our, uh, our droney. And I think I'm gonna point it off this way. And we're gonna have to uh, drop the camera down here. I didn't realize I had the camera pointed up so high. And because we're gonna be going back, I've got it pointed down a little bit. So. We're gonna go reverse and up now, so reverse and up. 
and I am full stick up because there's some trees back there and you guys have seen me make that mistake before uh, and uh, almost brush the top of uh, some trees but there you see those guys and we were well above them and uh, yeah so there we are so we are at the Boise River let me pick the uh, gimbal back up just a little bit and you can see what I was talking about there uh, kind of behind me that's the uh, sand and gravel operation you see there I'm going to do kind of a little bit of a yaw around so that you guys can kind of take a look at, uh, at the territory here. I'm going to pick up that gimbal just a little bit more, get back to the rule of thirds. There were some kids that just walked by here and I hear them throwing rocks in the river there. So if you hear some water splashed around, that's what you're hearing. So there's that sand and gravel company, and they, I don't know, they flood out areas, I'm not sure how that works, but I'm, and then it seems like they dredge the, uh, the gravel out of there. Uh, but here we are, and then as we get to, uh, we're, this will be, as we're yawing around here, we're looking towards the north side of the river, and you can see where they've dug some out there. It's a little bit difficult for me to see on, uh, on FPV, but, uh, you know, I'm sure when, we, when I look at the video off the SD card, we'll, I'll notice more detail, but, uh, but this is kind of it. And, you know, farmland, and you can see the urbanization encroaching in on the farmland, which seems to be the story here in Idaho. We are, uh, we're growing really fast, and everywhere you go there okay so they're look at that they're digging some stuff out there so let's uh yeah oh shoot this is great well let's uh let's drop the gimbal down and let's see what they're doing down there so they're digging out some gravel yeah you're hearing some noise there's some kids in the background here which is okay let's uh let's kind of zoom in here yeah he looks like he's loading this guy up that is full uh, digital zoom there in 4K. And he is loading that guy up and looks like there's another truck uh, waiting. And then I assume, you know, th th those kind of trucks are off-road trucks only. And, uh, and then I think they, they, they just take it over to a place where they process the gravel. I mean, I know they've got crushers that, and screens that, uh, that make it a certain size. And there again, you know, I'm not an expert at this, so I don't really know, but I know that, that, that when they flood these areas with water, that has something to do with how they get the gravel out of there. So we'll continue our yaw around here. Sorry about that, took me a second there to pick that camera back up. And a little bit quick. And there we're kind of looking, uh, kind of towards uh, Middleton. I don't know if that's Middleton proper, but we're kind of in that direction. And look, this is quite an operation. You can see all these areas that they, uh, that they pull the gravel out of. And of course, that's what, uh, that's what feeds all the construction, right? All the construction going on. Let's, let's take a look and see what these are. Uh, this is turning into, I, I, I had thought that this would be a, uh, more of a, uh, uh, a river video. The drone is kind of drifting a little bit there. I, I was completely off the sticks and it was drifting. So anyway, I'm gonna go full forward here. And let's see if we can see what these guys are down here. I don't know if those are some kind of a dredge or what that is. But it looks interesting, so I figured we better take a look. And the drone is almost right over the top of us now. So I won't be able to get a good look at this. I'm looking at it on FPV, but uh, let's uh, let's drop the gimbal down and let's uh, 
we're still on two times zoom I didn't realize I still had zoom all the way in there we are that's normal okay let's move forward a little bit and we'll drop the gimbal down as we go and see if we can uh, get right over the top of this and see if we can figure out what's going on here uh, we're gonna get a little bit of glare aren't we might have to come at it from the other side eh, this is probably good okay oh no so that is just that's not a dredge that's not a piece of equipment that's not anything that's just a place where there's a power line uh, and they leave it uh, yeah that makes total sense okay we get it now you guys probably saw that earlier I couldn't make that out in FPV but let's zoom on in here yeah and all that is is just a power pole I, I you know I was looking at it from the distance and I'm thinking well god what is that do they have some kind of a dredge out there or something and then there's something blowing out there I don't know a piece of plastic or something blowing in the water there okay enough of that stuff let's uh, let's pick that gimbal back up and uh, we satisfied our curiosity and that's the road that I came in on let's uh, get back out over the river we'll move her sideways here and we have an aircraft up above us but he is way up there he is to the uh, southeast of me so not anywhere close to where we're at and he was way high up there but that's one thing that I want to tell you that's what, something that I always do is uh, you know one of your one of your best uh, things that you can do is is listen and uh, when you hear an aircraft make sure you get eyes on him okay we're gonna go forward here and again the drone is just right over the top of me right now and I'm going to show you kind of where uh, where I parked here at the end of the uh, at the end of this road. That's where we parked right there. Let's pick that camera back up and go back. Let's move sideways back over the river here. And you you know just like I was telling you earlier. Uh, this will all green up and it'll be a lot more lush there is a lot more water going down the river than there was than there has been recently so we've had a fair amount of snowfall it's been dry lately but we've had we had a fairly wet winter so uh, so they're starting to turn more water down the river now starts there at uh, Lucky Peak Reservoir and then there's another little dam uh, just past that and they just start cutting the water loose okay let's turn around and let's go uh, back down river well you hear those kids <laughs> they're having fun it looked like a mom and her kids just uh, taking the kids out and having some fun with them so we'll see if we can uh, we'll see if we can see them here let's move down the river they've got to be really close by I don't know if you can see where I'm standing there but they've got to be really close by here so you guys might be able to see it I can't exactly see on FPV here let's zoom in and pick the camera back up Yeah, I'm not I'm not able to spot them. Okay, we're going to yaw around a little bit. Boy, there's a lot of aircraft out. Oh, I didn't go down far enough. I can see that right now. And this aircraft, he is way high above us and he is to the west of us. So there again, like I said, you're, you really want to keep an eye out. So we should be able to see them. 
down here someplace, but uh, like I said, you guys may be able to spot them on uh, because this video will be off the SD card, but I, I just literally can't see it. And the drone is just about above me now. Let's bring it down lower. Sorry for that quick yaw, but I wanted to get it around. And we're going to bring the drone down. And I want to make sure it's so easy to miss a branch or something. So I'm being very, uh, a little bit careful about trying to come down here. Let's pick that camera up. And let's... Uh, Keep dropping down and let's turn around I'm trying to give a nice even yaw here it's not always easy it's always uh, it's always fun to be uh, to be closer uh, rather than further away and you can see where I'm standing there Let's uh, let's drop the guy down a little bit, and we are, I think, pretty much clear of uh, any branches here. So let's slowly move it forward. Get a little bit more out to the middle of the river. Come down a little bit more. And we're bringing the drone down the river, and it's almost even with me now. In fact, I'm going to put it in cinema mode. I don't know what I was trying to do there, normal mode. I was trying to modulate the throttle, and cinema mode makes it a lot easier. There again, it's always safer to stay away from branches if you're uh, closer to the middle of the, uh, of the stream here. So let's bring it around. I have eyes on the drone and, and uh, can see where it's at, so I'm feeling pretty good about it. Of course, in these kind of situations, and we have another aircraft, and he is to the north of us and a lot higher than we are. Actually, two aircraft. They're both to the north of us. But trust me, if they were as low as this little drone is right now, we'd have a, we'd have a problem. A lot of folks out flying today. So, uh, you know, I just want to remind everybody, it's our duty as uh, UAV pilots to stay clear of manned aircraft. So, keep your eyes open. I almost thought those guys were flying together for a second. It almost looked like they were flying in formation, but they weren't. They, they kind of diverged there. So, this is kind of cool. We're getting kind of a good look here, aren't we? And there again, when you see moving water like this, understand that that could affect the, uh, the optical flow sensor on the bottom of the drone. So be prepared to, uh, to you know, move the controls as necessary. Uh, you know, it sees that moving water and it, the drone may not understand, uh, you know, what direction. It thinks it's drifting or something and it'll try and correct itself. So this is kind of fun, getting a look at the river here. Kind of down low. Okay, I see some branches over the top here, so we're going to stay clear of those guys. And we got a little open spot here. I didn't see that before. Ooh, let's pick it up. The drone kind of dropped there a little bit. So I don't know what that is. I can't see it on FPV. You guys can probably see it. I still can't tell what that is there. So we'll see when we look at the SD card. Like I said, it's, sometimes it can be difficult when you're looking at your little FPV screen to, to see that kind of detail, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and move forward here. Let's kind of move off of the uh, river here into this open area. And we should be able to 
safely grab some altitude. Oh, we're down to 22% battery. I better think about bringing this guy home, huh? Okay, let's do a quick, another quick yaw around here and give you a look at what they're doing here with the uh, with all the uh, sand and gravel equipment. There's another look at that uh, backhoe and another uh, dump truck coming along to get another load. Yeah, it's giving us that low battery and wants to come home so I'm going to confirm and we're just going to let the drone come home. Yeah, when it spun around there it looked like to me it kind of tilted the horizon a little bit but uh, it'll rise now to its return to home altitude we set remember we set that at 85 meters and uh, and we'll be able to point down here and I'll need to be careful when it's coming back and by the way with that last update look we can yaw the drone as it's coming home but I think our look at the river was better so let's yaw it back this way and let's uh, start bringing the camera down so we can see as it drops down and what I'll very likely do is uh, when it starts descending uh, if it doesn't look like it's going to uh, do a good job of, uh, of, of hitting the uh, uh, the landing pad and it's saying it's about two meters off right now I mean we got some bushes and things around here so I need to pay attention to that but We'll, we'll cancel it and we'll do a manual landing. So it's starting to come down. And you can see, I think if we let it land here, it would land right in the middle of that bush, huh? Well, it's starting to move off a little bit. Okay, I canceled there. And we'll see if we can zero in on that. As we get lower, it'll be easier, but we'll see if we can zero in on that uh, landing pad. See how close can we get? Oh, we need to move up just a little. Drone is right down here. It wants to come down. Okay. I'm going to pull down on that stick and you'll see the drone lift the camera up as it goes into landing mode. And it, uh, it moved off just a little bit and we're, we got a little bit in the dirt and we actually went through a little, uh, a little bit. Oh, I'm going to get the, make sure you can see it on camera here. I should have looked at that earlier. Yeah, you saw that. So, yeah, you saw it hit the, the little bit of the end of that bush there. I probably should add the landing pad in a different spot, but we didn't hurt anything. Uh, but it's interesting how it did move off. You know, you could see I had it pointed right at the uh, pad, and it moved off a little bit. Uh, in any case, I'm going to shut off recording. Always remember to do that on this drone so you don't corrupt a file. And uh, let me get everything shut down, and we'll do a quick conclusion. Hey, okay, the, uh, the Mini 2, uh, neat little piece of technology, right? Uh, we took it up here over the river, and, uh, you know, i got to be honest with you, I didn't get down as low as I did the other day when I was flying uh, by the snake, over the Snake River, because quite frankly, I know there's a lot of trees over the river here, and, I, you know, you're always afraid that if you have to go up for something that you don't want to hit a branch or... Or something like that. This guy has no obstacle avoidance, so it's not going to see anything. Uh, and you also, like I said, uh, you have to be cognizant of these sensors on the bottom that it could get uh, confused by the movement of the river down below, so you have to be prepared for that. Uh, but we did all right, and, and hopefully we saw some interesting things. We we, we got to watch him dig in a little bit uh, in the gravel pit over there and, and kind of look at a little bit of the, uh, of the sand and gravel operation. I, I always find that kind of stuff fascinating, and I like the river, too. So just kind of a neat spot on the river. Uh, just now a cloud came over, and it feels pretty good. It was getting kind of hot there, which, 
you know, can make it difficult, as I said earlier, to see that FPV screen. So, you know, you probably heard me, you said, you'll probably, when you watch the video, you'll say, well, why didn't you see that? Well, it's, sometimes it's hard to see on that little screen. But uh, in any case, uh, yeah, it was fun. And, uh, and uh, this, this guy's just always just a joy to fly. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to uh, that DJI Air 2S arriving next week. And, and we'll get that out. And uh, as I always do uh, with a drone of that caliber, my first flight is gonna be uh, over the top of the Snake River Canyon. And we'll just take that, lift it off, do our safety checks and all that, but then we'll send it. We'll send it right over the canyon and, uh, and, uh, and get some good cinematic video with it. With that one inch sensor, it ought to look really good. So, uh, Gosh, I think that's about it. Uh, this is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, most of all, I, I really do appreciate you taking the time to look at this video. Uh, we'll come back here again another time when it's greener and, and hopefully uh, get some pretty cool shots with it. So uh, in any case, <laughs> that's it. We'll see you guys later. Bye now. DJI Mini 2. Just love this little drone. Hey, all right, let's do a little bonus footage here. Uh, I'm walking back to the uh, truck and I'll just show you the trail that I uh, hiked down. It, yeah, it's nothing too gnarly, but it's something that I thought you might be interested. And you can kind of take a look at the, uh, at the river here. So yeah, you know, river rocks. You can see that uh, this gets encroached by the river as they rise the level up. I think this is where those kids were standing when they were throwing rocks and so forth into the river. Do kind of a quick pan around here. And there you can see over there the, where the gravel operation was we were looking at. River's uh, running a little faster. Like, this, uh, like I said, they're, they're definitely pushing more water down the river. And I'm an old man, so I have to kind of watch every step. And you know, you got situations like this that at my age can be, uh, sometimes can be treacherous, so, so we'll be careful. But I just think it's, uh, you know, it's nice that they set up this kind of uh, river access, I mean, I, you know, I'm quite certain that this is mostly used by uh, fishermen, you know, coming down here to fish. But they've got the road and a little parking spot set up specifically for that purpose. Uh, so much river frontage is privately owned uh, that I just think it's really cool when they set up spots uh, so that the public can get out and see a little bit of what's going on. Again, a little bit more river there. And again, this is the Boise River. Just heard a bird fly off there, scared him off. Yeah, watch out for low branches. And uh, that's what we flew over earlier. And those, those uh, power poles are what we saw out in the middle of that uh, pond, gravel pond, I guess you'd call it. And, and you know, it looks like they, they built up a pretty good berm there uh, in order to do that. And we got a spot here where we got to kind of jump across a little bit of water. And like I said, you know, you young guys, I'm sure just laugh when you see it. But when you're my age, it's a little bit, uh, a little bit more of a, uh, of an issue. 
So before, I think I crossed right about there, but it's a little different here. Uh, because if I jump on that angle right there, I'm wondering if I won't just fall backwards on my ass. So, so here we go. There, we did it. Yeah, somebody lost their bottoms there, huh? Uh, so this spot right here, I actually flew uh, from here one time, and I don't know if you guys remember it, I had the Mini. And I flew from this spot and I was bringing the drone back through this little hole between these branches. And that water there confused the sensor on the drone, the downward facing sensor, and it started moving sideways. But anyway, learned my lesson there. There again, old guys got to look for, out for stuff like this. Somebody had a bonfire going right here. And so what you see there is kind of an island in the middle of the middle of the river. And I'm sure when the water is lower, I'm sure you can just walk right out there. So now we're at the easy part. Okay, here we are. There's the Tahoe. And yeah, you know, they, they set up this parking lot spot at the end of this uh, dirt road uh, just so that people can come out here and recreate. And you saw, I, I, you heard them at least, that uh, mother and her three kids, and they just were out splashing around. They weren't even fishing. They were just having fun. I'll take a shot over the side here so you can see this. So I'm sure a lot of people just come here and just fish right from there. I've never taken this trail the other direction. Need to do that one of these days. But anyway, this is the uh, this is the road that you come in on, and it's just a dirt road, but it works. Okay, that's bonus footage for today. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this little flight. Talk to you later.